So we're in New Zealand for testing here. Obviously, combines are a seasonal product, and um, we've got long design cycles, which are depending on the on the harvest seasons. So if we not only test on northern hemisphere, but also include southern hemisphere, like Brazil, uh, Australia, and now New Zealand here. So in New Zealand, we have very similar conditions to what we find in Europe, especially in Northern Europe, in uh, UK, Northern France, Northern Germany, etc. Uh, so we find tough straw conditions, high yields. We found really tough grass seed conditions here, very high moisture, so that's tough on the separator. After grass seed, we moved into oilseed rape, and also in oilseed rape, we hit a crop which was 2.2 to 2.4 meter tall. Uh, we had yields of six tons plus, so um, also very high oilseed rape yields. Uh, and now we moved into barley, so some winter barley, um, or summer barley, uh, and now we are testing winter wheat. The climate here would be uh, more milder than England, certainly in winter, and hotter and drier in summer. Our rainfall here would be around in about 600 mil a year. Because we do get frosts, very rarely snow. We more or less get growth all the year through the winter. So since the machine was shipped out, we updated the design. And what we are doing right now is to get that to the latest iteration. We use the time to do some out of crop measurements. Um, in regards of shoe pressure um, to validate different design configurations. Straw management here starts when the combine goes through the crop. We need a good chop and spread system on the back of the combine. Well, the short chop length of straw is ideal because it rots down quicker, distribute it back over the width of the cut of the combine so that it's not a problem then for the following crop. We try and harvest our wheat at 14.5% moisture and under, which is the regulation for acceptance into the grain stores around here. Grain quality is very important to me, as we don't want too much extraneous matter in the grain, and we don't want chipped grains either. I find it really interesting John Deere coming here and testing this machine on our farm and it's been really good to see it going alongside the other machines. So twisting the straw here you can see uh, it's really tough here in the lower part still. So the soil is still wet and you still feel the moisture in here and also a lot of fibre. So it's tough straw so it's comparable to Northern Europe I would say. So this is the winter wheat we have here, uh, it's yielding about 12 to 13 tons in that range. Um, threshing is not super tough, but it's tougher than it would typically be in UK, Northern France, Northern Germany conditions. So today we're optimizing grain tank cleanliness. So we've been taking samples of uh, clean grain in the tank and separating out the heavy mog, the light mog, and then also taking tailings catches and understanding what type of, or what percentage of free grain we have in the tailings. So yesterday we did a lot of residue activities, so investigated in spread patterns, and we also figured out we've got something to do on the grain tank sample. We've got some white caps in there, so we need to investigate in the uh, concave settings, etc. We tested different sets of uh, shrouds to have different uh, spreading width, and today we are making new set of shrouds out of this learning. We are checking the residue distribution, so chopping quality is really good, uh, even in this tougher condition here. And uh, now we are checking how well we can distribute the residue, over the cutting width, how even it is and how, how wide we can throw, and also how well we can compensate side widths. I'm really happy with the chop quality, that looks really good. 